guys so in this video let's explore how we can crop an image from the background and usually we can do this with a plugin but let me show you how we can achieve this with a pen tool so if you're coming from Photoshop you know this is possible so we click on the frame and we click on the Instagram post frame so we have an image for Instagram so we click on the menu and um, under the file we click on the place image we select the image of the girl we want to crop hold on the shift key and voila we have the image so we want to remove the background with the help of the pen tool we click on the pen tool as you can see and uh, we want to increase this by clicking Control plus we can increase this increase this so we can see what we're cropping so I think for the first first point we trace trace and trace and trace I think this process will actually help you in your future designs then we trace through the image that we wish to crop so mm, mm, mm. let me quickly do this so it doesn't take too much of our time all right So usually I like to zoom in while tracing so you can actually get the point. You don't want to, after cropping out the image, you, you don't want it to look funny or look rough. So you have to zoom in really fine so it can help you get the whole point of what you're doing. Zoom out. And I, and I, and I, cropping so we keep on cropping cropping so if by any chance you make a mistake click the backspace and continue so this is actually very intelligent so it's, 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 it's not like Photoshop let's say now I make a mistake I click the backspace and I start here go here I can still go here click here again and start over We'll zoom out zoom out I want to show you something let's say I just do this here maybe I didn't get the cropping right and I keep on cropping and cropping and cropping till I come to the final point and I close it right and okay okay we can come here at this point that is quite sharp you can see here is very sharp so I can use the the bend tool and correct it you know you can use the bend tool to correct all those sharp corners so all those sharp corners if there is though I can also 
closing or oh, I can delete this point if I feel that it's too sharp delete then click close use the bend to correct so this program is very intuitive I can decide to delete all uh, these points if I feel that I don't like it, which you can never do in Photoshop. Then click, bam, close. Then you use the bend tool and fix it. You see how wonderful you can see we have an issue here I can delete come in close then um, When I'm done, I I fill it. I can fill it with any color I want. This time around, let me let me go for the. But it doesn't really matter. So after filling, the next thing is to send it to back. You right click and send to back. Here is the layers. This is the image. This is the vector. So I click the both the layer, the image, and the vector, and I click on the max. Voila! Now the background is no longer there. I can select the two image. You can see I just created the max. You can see I just maxed the image. That's actually it. So I can select the two, the two stuff, and I group selection so this is it how to crop in figma